Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to part eight of Yakuza Zero. While still trying to find other information about Tachibana, I happen to stumble across these guys hassling this poor dude. Now, it's not just the Yakuza shaking down people. It's also random punks in the street and also some hooligans as well. It matters not at the end of the day because you're still going to beat them half to death with whatever you can find or your own fist. It matters not again because at the end of the day, you're going to get a random item from, well, the person you saved. It could be a guy or it could be a girl, it doesn't matter. It's random and normally it happens. Meanwhile... I'm just going to beat the hell out of this guy with this sign. And end him! Yeah. Just... The fact that I got a bonus for Untouchable is fantastic. But whatever the case, ladies and gentlemen... The only reason I showed this off is... Primarily, this is where you're going to be getting all your plates. Including this ruby plate. Now, hassles and shakedowns are going to show up more often and not in the later chapters. And, oh, we'll deal with you later. Much later, because I need to buy a certain car from the pawn shop. Yeah, majority of the enemy... Oh, well, the majority of the, uh... Things that you're going to be doing is going to be buying stuff from the pawn shop. And, by the way, I need to end this you know, fight, because after all, you pretty much seen me beat up all these guys, and then I've pretty much cut because I ran into a couple of more fights on the way, and this is where we need to be, right in front of this empty stadium, and why do we need to be here? Real simple, because this is another clue about Tachibana's, uh, real estate and Tachibana has basically closed down stores left and right in order to collect the real estate funds to try to uh, get rid of the Dojima clan or the Tojo Alliance if you will because they had those stores before anybody else and speaking of running into someone this is Kamoji for those of you who haven't seen Kamoji, he showed up in Chapter 2. Not Chapter 2, Part 2, sorry. And Kamoji gave us the rush uh, fighting style. His training may seem simple, but not necessarily. All his training pretty much is, is... Uh, you practically dodging people. Now that may be well and good for the first and the second and definitely the third. But anything past the... F okay, the first, second, the third, and fourth. Yes, that's what it is. Mm. You're practically dodging people for the first, second, and third, fourth time. But the last time, the fifth time, is the easiest one of them all. Because it's pretty much... A uh, unwinnable battle and you practically are fighting now in order for you to get all this training because I think I've gotten up to the $100,000 training because I've unlocked all those abilities in the last part well actually several parts ago before fighting Kuze so the whole point of this is simply dodging for 60 seconds Sounds easy, right? Uh, if you only know the amount of bullshit this game has to offer. I mean, this game's not hard. Okay. To an extent, if you don't have all the abilities. But the main actual game is not hard. No, 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 no. The actual side quests can be. And sometimes they can do some dirty things to you. And it is not pretty. Like, for instance, our whole ordeal here in this um, punch-out artist uh, 
scam that we're doing. So, basically, the whole gist is we're dodging. And one slip up can cost you to lose a lot of money. I wanted to put this off until I started the uh, real estate tycoon uh, missions, but unfortunately I can't. And do you want to know why? Uh, you'll run into this guy immediately anyway because it's a sub story. And agreeing to start Kamoji's training, well, actually, you can't really um, refuse that. It's going to automatically uh, force you to accept anyway. But whenever you take the training, it's up to you. It's basically one of the stories, a sub story that you automatically finish when you find a person. So to start things off, we got the 10,000 course. And that's because I've gotten the uh, abilities to lead to the 10,000 course. This should be easy, but here's the thing. It's not just the windup, it's the range. You're practically trying to avoid getting hit by drunkards who will just dash into you and swing. So, you're just going to practically dash, and normally, you try to use the uh, evade button and watch the pattern. Now, here's the thing that could trip you up while you're trying to uh, get out of the way of the uh, enemies. The thing that will trip you up is the fact that the audience is in your way. And plus, you could lose focus at any time. Or get hit like that. I completely dodged that bullshit. I completely dodged. Y'all saw that, right? He barely got me. I didn't even get hit. Okay, okay, let me rephrase that. I did get hit, but he barely got me because of the hitbox. I dodged that shit, and you know it. This game can be seriously cheap. Okay, this training mission can be seriously cheap. And Mitsutatsu's is hard too. Yeah, we're gonna learn that. We're gonna learn that uh, fighting style in this part anyway, because we're gonna be doing that after this. But yeah, Mitsutatsu's can be pretty cheap as well, and she also require you to spend money on training as well. But we'll talk about her. A little bit later on in the part, I mean, I brought her up, but I'm bringing it up for comparison's sake, because you're going to be spending money for every time you lose out on the training. Needless to say, Bacchus' training is the easiest one of the three. I kid you not. Because again, you're trying to dodge, and you are trying to uh, not get hit for rush. And I'll bring up more about, uh, again, I'll bring up more about beast mode later. And all these maneuvers you're unlocking is practically maneuvers that if you played the original Yakuza and Yakuza 2, they would be there, well, actually, more like Yakuza 2, those dodges and feints would be there by default. Um... One, you practically would have to learn them, like... Oh, how in the hell did he hit me? I moved out the damn way! Oh, I remember how. I got caught by the damn audience member. You know what? I just lost $20,000. I'm pissed. I'm gonna call it for right now with this guy. I'll deal with him some other time. But for now, I'm going to have to make that money back up. And there's only one way to do that. Hold on, I don't have to heal myself, do I? But first, let's go right over here to this area. And that's where you're basically going to find uh, Mitsutatsu. So, up, 
Wait, hold on. Ah, my fade. Now give me my money. Excuse me one second, I'll be right back. Alright then. I just had to take care of business. Not just with this guy, but business in general. At least I got back to 20,000 and I lost. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, where we need to go is right here, actually. This is one of the friends you can actually make as well. He's the stop and search specialist. And for the record, just like with the uh, Popo shop owner, you can constantly visit this person over and over and over again. Once the friendship gets to about 70%, you'll have some sort of uh, request to do. Like for the Popo shop owner, you have to guess an item. For him, you gotta help him actually solve a crime. And the only way to keep this guy friendly is to give him things that aren't weapons. That's probably the reason why I took off the weapons. Because he can actually see if you have a weapon on or not. Since I'm unarmed, he asked me to show me something. So all I have to do is just give him uh, either a stamina or a, a dry, I mean a paper towel or something like that. Anything that's not a weapon. Oh, by the way, if you try to give him a salt shaker, yeah, he's going to claim it as a weapon. So basically, uh, any sort of medicine you can give. So with that said, let's just keep... Oh, God. No, 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 no. I just saw the man on the map. <coughs> I just saw the man on the map. But speaking of things on the map, here's the uh, other thing that will lead you to find Tachibana. But folks, I wasn't ready to deal with Mr. Shakedown just yet because I was trying to learn... I was going to eventually find Miss Tatsu and try to learn my uh, beast mode. But unfortunately, I ended up running into Mr. Shakedown a little bit earlier than, I, than what I expected. And by a little bit early, I mean... Oh wait, I can't enter through there. And as I was saying, by a little bit early, I mean he was just up the street. And if I was not strong enough, he would have took my money. Yeah, it's just like having to deal with Mr. X from uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first of three orders I could take from this restaurant. And completing this restaurant would give me character, I mean, completion points. In fact, I'm going to have to eat at a sushi diner as well in order for me to uh, get a friendship with him. With the food sushi owner, actually. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. And, oh, goody. More punks. Yeah, I'm going to beat them up, but uh, I don't have time. I'm trying to go after... Uh, I'm trying to go after Beast. So, uh, yeah. By the way, that is the heat action for Rush. If you knock down one person and there's still someone left, you can actually use heat action to punch one into the other two. Ah, I think that's them. Wait, no, no. I don't want to go there just yet. Um, I need to go a little bit north. Oh, it'll be a while before I show off Nove Rich because I gotta get the uh, completion points for it. I keep saying character points for some reason. Well, that's what CP would stand for anyway, basically. And by the way, they are that in uh, Yakuza 1, but that's not the point. Point of the matter is, we have to go this way. And yeah, we're gonna have to visit the bowling alley and oh god, we're gonna run into more punks. Okay, let's end this. And now let's go on about our business. Because Miss Tatsu's right there, as a matter of fact. Yeah, now get out of my way, anyway. 
And for the record, look over there. That's the other guy she needs to speak to as well. But this is Miss Tatsu. No, the girl in the dragon jackets, Miss Tatsu. This regular guy is someone who is ducking and dodging her. What she does is shakedowns. So yes, she's Mrs. Shakedown. And Mrs. Shakedown over here basically beats the hell out of people and get the money back. However, from what I understand, somewhere along the line, that comes back to bite her. And that really comes back to bite her. I'm not going to spoil anything because the revelation of that will be revealed in Like a Dragon. But nonetheless... <clears throat> Miss Tatsu is going to be the person that teaches you beast style and beast. Beast style is going to be where you could just randomly grab weapons with one hand in a fury. You just uh, throw things, throw people, and more importantly, do hard hitting shots. Hey. The thing of the matter is, beast style is also slow, so bear that in mind. But. Bear witness to what's about to happen, because this shit is awesome! Mm. Well, despite the fact that this guy is coming after her with a blade. Oh, by the way, the counter for that, you have to actually learn for her. So, with that said... We're going to have to put that to good use in just a little bit, but first, just watch, no blinking, and showtime. I really love how they animated this game, I gotta say. Oh! Oh! Now this is something else. Oh my god, she broke that man's arm! Oh yeah, and you can do that too! That is literally the heat action for beast mode. And, jeez, it is by far one of the most brutal styles in the game. Bar none. And now that we've learned it, we're going to have to put it to good use. Because, uh... Yeah, that guy we just beat up, he's got backup. Yeah, all those guys over there was going to plan on jumping Miss Tatsu. So, as a man of chivalry, we just can't let that happen. So with that say... <clears throat> Let's go smack these guys and teach them how to treat a lady. And that's one thing Kiryu can't stand the most. Ladies getting assaulted in front of him. That is one of his many pet peeves. And then Yakuza Kawami happens. Nonetheless, <clears throat> let's just get ready to rumble. Because these guys, they need to learn a lesson. They need to learn not to mess with Kiryu. Boy. And more importantly, they may look tough, but they aren't. So primarily this is going to be your uh, beast tutorial. Now all of these moves that we're learning eventually... Remember them because guess what? Eventually, along the line, we'll get the Dragon of Dojima um, style. And that's practically everything that we have learned from all three styles. But 
enough about that. Let's just grab a cart and start beating people with. Or grab a weapon in general. Yeah, it may look like I'm taking a beating because this is on normal anyway. Of course I'm going to take a beating. Anything lower, which is practically easy to lower your difficulty, they're just going to stand there and take the beating. <clears throat> normal, they're going to strike back, which is why I put this on normal. Yeah, you guys are really kicking my ass, and I can't have that. And yeah, I'm tanking these hits. Damn. Just damn, son. Oh! <laughs> just using a motorcycle to beat people's asses is fantastic. And the funny part is, the Yakuza, who actually reacted to this, said this is the most accurate portrayal of the Yakuza. <laughs> I'm dead serious! I think it's a video, look it up! <laughs> but, uh, nonetheless, after we done beat the hell out of these guys, and Miss Tatsu is still ready for more, I think, uh, those guys aren't going to be able to do anything to her. Nope! Not at all. So, with that said, in order for us to do training with Miss Tatsu, we're going to have to go catch a cab and go straight to the docks to train with Miss Tatsu. Yeah. On top of the fact that you can also go to the docks to fish. Why do we need to fish? Sushi. That's why. So, with that said... <clears throat> Beast form is already ours. Yeah. I call it beast mode, beast form, beast style, doesn't matter. It's beast. I love it. Too bad it is slow as hell. And uh, I need the style primarily because each style gives an increase in health, an increase in defense, and an increase in attack on all of your stats. So, um, yeah, the more styles, the better. I just want to point that out to everyone. Oh, yeah, and by the way, it all, each style also has a way to retain heat. So it won't just immediately go away due to inactivity. And also has a way to raise heat. So, yeah, that's why you want all these styles as much as... Of them completed as humanly possible. <laughs> so, with that said, <clears throat> we're now going to be able to do training with Miss Tatsu. And that just makes things a lot easier. Now, eventually, We'll be hunting down Mr. Shakedown and get some of the money he stole from me back. And just to let you know, if I would have lost HP during the training session, it would have just picked up where it last left off. You don't have to worry too much if you die in this game. It'll just restart the fight from the last fight. And ironically, I only, like, died maybe once, and that was in, um, I think that was in, uh, Majima's story, because I didn't have the, uh, I didn't have any medicine, and I pretty much forgot to buy some when I was continuing on the story. So, nonetheless, let's put beasts to good use. In fact... Oh, damn! Oh! Oh, man, that guy's spine is broken. In two places, man. Yeah, you were dead. I'm sorry, all of you were dead. But then again, Kiryu has never killed anyone. Oh, we're about to fix that right now. 
In fact, get up. Or rather, stay down. Whew. Beast is fun. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, that's enough killing punks for one day. I'm going to go save. This is RV Man 985 I'll see you all in the next episode of Yakuza right after I get myself something to eat. After all, I just got out of a war. <clears throat> so let's do something to get my health full. And that should pretty much complete this restaurant. And now, let's leave, and again, I'll see you all next time, because guess what? In the next episode, we're going to be doing some more side quests and practically weird, weird things. I mean, everything's weird in Kamurocho nowadays. This is Harvey Man 985 Peace out, and take care.